Hi guys, Varun here from Phone Aina and I have something cool to unbox today. It's not a phone, it's not a tablet, but it's actually a USB monitor from Asus. So basically it's a 15.6 inch full HD monitor uh, and I figured out that actually I have an, I got actually recently got a MacBook Air 11 inch and I figured out the screen is too small and I can't really use it because I actually use a 15 inch MacBook uh, Pro as well. So I decided to purchase this monitor because it might uh, help me on the go. Actually a portable USB monitor, full 15 inch and it's full HD and actually takes power from USB and it's like just about 199 US dollars. So I actually got it from Newegg, uh, considering Newegg actually ships to India now. So I actually got it through them and it, uh, about 199 dollars plus shipping plus duties. Um, so we're going to be actually unboxing it and actually showing you a demo as well. So let's go ahead and take a look about the uh, Asus MB168B Plus Full HD 15.6 USB monitor. Let's get rid of the tape on the outside. Actually the monitor comes in a much smaller box. It's actually the outer box I guess. Considering actually it comes with a free carry case as well since it's a portable monitor. I don't know why Asus doesn't sell these in India. You need to ask them. I had to get it from the US because it's not available here. Even if it's available, I think it's available with a pretty high price. It's not an uh, Indian unit, but an outdoor, like a out of warranty outside India piece. So yeah, so before the monitor, there's actually a case as well here. Carry case, looks pretty premium like other Asus products. And here's the monitor itself. So let's get rid of the other carton. So this is the, actually the monitor itself. As you can see, it's MB168 plus USB monitor, 15.6 inch uh, widescreen monitor, portable box beam seems pretty lightweight. So it's, it's got a three year warranty from Asus. I'm thinking it's US only, considering this is purchased there. And I'm actually kind of confused. I ordered a MB168 uh, plus, but it says MB168 only on the box. This not sure if they actually ship the right monitor or not because on the outside it did say 168 plus because the 168 is a monitor with a um, 1366 by 768 resolution which is pretty much the same resolution as a macbook air but the 168 plus is a resolution has a resolution of 1920 it's a full hd monitor let's get it out so as you can see is there a monitor inside <laughs> Okay, so I think it's been opened by customs probably, I'm not sure, but so this is actually the USB cable. This is actually USB 3 powered monitor, so as you can see there's a micro, or a USB 3 connector here, blue connector. This is what the, all you need to get this monitor going. And you have, um, I think some VIP member notice, the instructions for getting the monitor powered up. I don't think it even has a power supply. Does it draw power from the Mac itself or a Windows PC? Actually this, I forgot to tell you guys. So this actually works with both Mac and Windows in case you're interested. This is a USB cable. We'll use that in a second. And that's actually having, wow, this is pretty small. Okay, this is smaller than I expected. It actually feels like a 15.6 tablet. So as you can see, this is the monitor itself. Let's get it out of the, uh, Hoping it's not broken or something in transit. It's coming from California, US to Chennai, India. So this is the monitor itself. So beautiful it looks and feels like premium build. As you can see the Asus uh, branding on the back. It feels like plastic. It is plasticky. And, and it's an IPS panel, ultra light, full HD. As you can see the model number, it's actually a full HD one. Just got my uh, uh, like senses back considering I was just seeing that the outer box did not say MB168 plus it just said B plus it was just saying MB168 so probably it's a common box for the 168B and the 168B plus so USB 3 so let's see you either sides so as you can see you have power button here and you have brightness controls here this is the port for powering it on and that's pretty much it Wow, there's nothing else. It's just a 15.6 inch, inch screen. It's a widescreen monitor. So it's going to be useful for me considering I carry a, I'm going to be carrying a MacBook Air 11 inch, which is pretty small uh, considering I have a Retina MacBook Pro as well, but it's too heavy to carry around. So I'm going to be shifting to this and this is going to be really be helping me use um, both on the go. 
and what else do you want in the box you don't have anything else i think that's about it so let's put this back so let's check out the setup instructions so this is the setup guide comes with a cd as well but i don't have a cd rom drive anywhere here around so i don't know how i'm going to be using this but so this is what it says unbox it and uh, i think you have to use the case as a stand so let's get out the case now so this is the case such uh, it says it doesn't say anything it just says some vendor code or something it's a pretty high quality cover i would say for the monitor wow it's a pretty nice flush um soft touch on the inside and hard on the outside so let's see how do you use it as a stand so So as you can see, this is how you actually use a stand for the monitor. Actually, it's a carry case as well. So there are two kind of flaps here, which lets you position the monitor in different angles. So this is one. And after that, you kind of put this uh, flap here so that they give it the Velcro here so that you don't actually uh, let it slip through. It's a safety mechanism. So as you can see, this is the 15.6 inch monitor here. So let's get rid of the sticker so that you can see it better. So that you can get the full view yeah so i don't know why they've put this sticker they do it on every other monitor tv so, wow it's pretty sticky so as you can see let's actually i think you should probably connect it to the other usb port uh, to make it look better but let's put tuck this wire in so that you don't actually see it <laughs> so yeah so as you can see you have 11 inch macbook Air here with a very crazy bad resolution of uh, 1366 uh, by 768 pixels not really much usable but for something like say spreadsheets and here we have uh, the phone in a blog open here on a full hd 15 inch 15.16 inch screen so as you can see i'm i'm able to drive 15.16 inch screen without any power supply it's just a usb3 cable which is driving the monitor as well the colors aren't the best but still something for on the go this is great and especially for somebody carrying something like an 11 inch MacBook Air and you want an external monitor uh, for getting more work done or even just like that, you need a bigger screen um, to carry around. So this is uh, pretty cool. And the best part is there's a carry case which acts as a stand as well. And so now let's try to do, bring the spreadsheets on to the larger screen so that you can actually see the beauty of a portable monitor. So for example, the best part is you can actually work with the, there's not much of a lag, but I, there's some amount of a refresh rate issue. I think the refresh rate is not too fast, like something like a desktop monitor, but still usable. So we'll actually, uh, it actually works with Mac with an installation of a software driver required display drink driver. And I think it should work pretty easy on windows as well. Our surface pro three wouldn't really uh, connect to it. Uh, it would just keep throwing some sound. I think it's something to do with the power supply or the USB cable itself, but it works with Windows and Mac as well. So something, one of the coolest gadgets you ever unboxed, a portable USB monitor, full HD. And the best part is it's like super light. It's like 800 grams. It feels lighter than an Android tablet or an iPad for that matter. That's it guys. So that was a quick unboxing of the Asus uh, MB168B plus full HD 15.6 inch monitor. We'll come back to you later as to how it fared. Uh, do check out the links below in case you're interested and do subscribe to our channel and also uh, do uh, upvote on the video in case you liked it and you're a fan of such hacks uh, getting stuff uh, done uh, on the go and we'll be bringing more such videos for you so thanks for watching and see you in the next video